Good morning everyone, I'm Harrison and this is your daily news update. Today is May 21st, 2020 and it's an exciting day for me because I get to take the AP World exam today. That's why your news is late because I got caught up studying. So uh, wish me luck because either I'm going to end up eating a, a tub of ice cream out of happiness and excitement or despair. So uh, you be the judge as to which one that's going to be. My money's on both. It's probably going to be both. You can see my background has upgraded drastically because now I've got nostalgic consoles. We've got the Wii, the Wii. Who doesn't know the Wii? The Wii's the best thing ever. Nintendo DS Lite. I spent way too much time on that. Wii Sports Resort, best game ever. Uh, also, if you notice, my needle's missing from my player. You probably didn't because I know you don't care, but my needle's gone because it doesn't work anymore, so now I can't play any records, so I'm kind of starting to go insane. Anyway, yeah. Having mentioned AP tests, if you didn't know there was AP testing this week, it, you need help. I'm sorry. I'm not showing the schedules anymore. You can just go and cry because you missed your AP test. It's not my fault that you weren't paying attention. We're almost done with AP testing. I, I don't, yeah. I'm sorry. As has been posted about numerous times on our school's social media, Panther staff has been working tirelessly to help return school materials. Now, material return is still going on from 8 to 3 until June 5th, so make sure you pick a date to return your stuff. If by some miracle you're still a senior watching this, today is your last designated day to return stuff in, if you want a special goodbye to kind of wrap up your year from all your teachers. If not, if you don't care about that, or if you missed out on any of those dates and today, then just join everybody else, return your stuff, and yeah, I just make sure you get your stuff back. I mean, it'd be a real bummer just to, to have to go to summer and then realize, oh, I didn't pay, I didn't give that stuff back, and you got a stupid expensive fee to pay either next year or if you're a senior, sometime in, I don't know, when you have to pay that. That's even more work. Just get your stuff back. Just a few days ago, Joan Taylor, a professor at the King's College in London, discovered that fragments of Dead Sea Scrolls that were believed to be blank actually had writing on them. You might ask, what is a Dead Sea Scroll? And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. I think I gathered from reading that they're early scriptures of the Hebrew Bible, uh, along with, you know, some of them have calendars and stuff like that written on them. I wasn't able to find why they're called Dead Sea Scrolls. I. I don't know. Maybe you guys can have better luck. I do know it's a wicked name, though. Oh boy, it's Thursday again, and that means it's my favorite time of the week. I wish I could change sets, but my room is quite uninteresting in terms of something good to look at and good lighting. But that's me problems, not you guys. Anyway, this week's band is... America! Wow, look, I got albums instead of cassettes now! That means I have twice as much outdated technology to waste my money on. I love stupid decisions. America is a, a unique band. They're certainly admirable in how they rose to success. So they released one song called A Horse With No Name and it immediately became a hit. It rose to the top of the charts. But then they did some weird songs called Muskrat Love and Ventura Highway, to name a few, where they sang about muskrats and uh, alligator lizards in the air, which actually means rockets that were launching in California, I think. Pretty cool fact. Anyway, while they're certainly special, they are definitely an acoustic and a harmonizing wonder, so I highly recommend that you go and check them out. And that does it for today's news show. You remember when I mentioned that gallon of ice cream? Yo, I brought it out early, because it's getting closer to 1.30 by the minute, and I'm really, really feeling some banana pudding ice cream. This is Bluebell, it's really good. Anyway, oh my god, this is so hard. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Anyway, on behalf of myself and everyone here at Panther 4 News, stay safe, Panthers, and have a great Friday tomorrow. Make sure you can get to Friday. It's so cool. Um, I love banana pudding.